Hello everyone, there is another video for you. In this video, we would deal with Dell Ostro P88G, Papa 88 Golf. Okay, by the way, this is a nice and sweet uh, model from Dell. It's a metallic finish on the top and the bottom. Okay, and uh, the boot system is supported by both uh, EFI and Legacy. By the way, default always EFI for this model. So what are you going to do? We're going to change the boot option. So today we would know how to boot it up from the ESP thumb drive. Okay, so let's do that. So the problem is this phone window system already been damaged. Plus the recovery partition also been damaged somehow. So now we're going to fix it. So first what you need to do, we need to get into the BIOS change the boot option from the UEFI to the legacy then everything should be fine by the way I got Windows 10 Pro I'm gonna connect it okay this one already charged up so let's turn on once you press the power button keep pressing F2 just to get into the BIOS So from here, as you can see at the beginning general, from the general section, you can go to the secure, you can go to the system information, battery information, boot sequence, and advanced boot options, obviously, that EFI boot path security. What are you gonna do first? We're gonna go to the secure boot. Right, so that is enable. What are you gonna do? We're gonna make it disabled first of all. That's the first thing we're gonna do. Fine. <clears throat> now we're gonna go back to boot sequence. As you can see, there are two boot sequence here. One of them Windows Boot Manager, which is the corrupted Windows, and then UEFI, which is the SSD Kingston Data Traveler. Okay, so we're gonna chase both of them. As you can see here, if you look at it. The boot list option legacy is gray out already it's grayed out the reason is that is disabled so if you do add boot option or delete boot option nothing going to help you to make it enable unless if you go to advanced boot option which is that one and from here you can enable the legacy option rom okay so click here now go to the boot option as you can see now we're gonna choose legacy at this moment once you choose the legacy rest of them is going to be disappear from here okay as you can see here when you do UEFI that's mean the system already been recorded in his memory on the BIOS these two option when you choose the UEFI so due to install new system we're gonna turn up this system from the external bootable USB drive. That's the reason why you're gonna go to legacy. All right. So now we're gonna save it. And we're gonna exit. And we're gonna press F12 in case there is any um, straight away boot option. Set turning up and press F2 okay all right so as you can see here now the legacy boot option is on the top before when it was by default only UEFI this legacy boot option was not available in here Okay, so now we can choose whatever you would like. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to choose the USB storage device and hit enter, then see if there is anything happen. Okay. As you can see now, the Windows 10 boot logo, that's mean the system already turned off from that one. Okay, here you go. So that's how you change the boot option for Dell Bostro P88G. 
plus all the similar models also it does work for Dell Latitude uh, all different models okay so try in that way if you get any difficulties don't forget to leave a comment below and please don't forget to hit subscribe so in that way you're gonna get my future videos thank you so much for watching guys and bye for now see you again